All right, so we went up to Flagstaff yesterday and we saw two movies, one of which was Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. The other one was Fall. We'll discuss that after, but for now, let's do them in order of the way that we saw them. The new A24 film that I think be because of how it plays out, this definitely fits A24 in that way because it wants to push boundaries and it wants to try different things and it wants to kind of piss its audience off. Yeah. Right? Um, so good on them for that. I have seen people, Lee McCoy from Drone Dumbs, uh, talking about <laughs> how much they hated the reveal mm. of this. They actually put it in their thumbnail. I hated the reveal. <laughs> I'm not understanding because... The reveal is, like, the whole point of the movie. Like, yeah. if the reveal wasn't what the reveal was, this movie would make... It would it would make it so much worse. <laughs> because mm. it would just be like... Well, it's hard because we're not talking spoilers here. But no. the reveal is the point of the film. So I don't understand how you can hate it unless you just hate the film outright altogether and you're just like oh, i hated the reveal because i hated everything else and i just didn't care how what was going to happen so slasher movie no chance this is not, not a slasher movie. At this all. is a like um modern murder mystery um, or uh gen x comedy murder mystery yeah. right dark comedy and it's 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 a it's a gen x film that is making fun of gen x so which is great <laughs> which is good because and, there there needs to be some yeah. self-awareness here right There's some, yeah. let us let us generation explain to you let's let's <laughs> let's gen explain to people saying? yeah that's a thing now we created it right here on the we channel really? hashtag gen explain well so Go ahead. I don't think we created it. I think there's always been like the old timers are like talking to the young But no ones. one's ever called it gensplaining. You're right. Gensplaining. <laughs> uh, what is that? <laughs> copyright. Yeah, copyright. <laughs> I was like going to do a hashtag and then I was like, wait, hashtag gensplain? Pet, pet, patent pending. Patent pending. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Sorry, I won't interrupt you. You go ahead. Gensplain why we need this type of movie. Because Hoping every generation that. in their youth sucks. And people need to point out when they suck. And this generation needs to stop being sensitive little cunts about everything. <laughs> because that's the fucking problem with this yeah. generation. Is they can't take a fucking joke and everything is the end of the goddamn world for them. Now granted, they are living in a world where shit might end. So it might actually be the end of the world in some cases. But regardless, you're too goddamn sensitive. And this film perfectly illustrates a lot of the issues with how... Fake fucking people are. Yes. Because they live in a social media bubble yeah. where they've curated a narrative that fits whatever their ideology is and they have deluded themselves into believing that that is the general consensus and, and the reality and the narrative that everyone's following and that anybody else on the outside is some fringe lunatic because they don't agree with their friends that they didn't block and the fucking voices of the YouTubers or the TikTokers who give them the information that makes up their opinion. Mm. Because they followed them specifically and then fucking blocked every other voice. But the problem people, gensplaining, <laughs> with that idea is that if you never take in new ideas that challenge yours, you will remain you in this state indefinitely you yeah. do not grow without varying opinions that challenge your beliefs this is the whole fucking core of evolution you sure. have to be exposed to the elements right. so that you know how to you know make something better this is science this is how things work you 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 make things that fail and you learn from those failures to then make a better model of those things. And well, this is how we conversate as humans by disagreement that then comes to some kind of a communal agreement that, that's compromise 
on variance of opinion. But so, okay, too, moving on, like, sorry. Well, just really quickly, like, you can have, you know, you can understand opinions and not, like, agree with them. Or you can expose yourself to ideas and not approve of them. Sure. And I think that the movie, like, I actually quite enjoyed the film. Yeah. I really like, there's this one actress that we've seen before in Shiva Baby. <laughs> And yeah. I just love her. I don't know what it is, but I think she's like really charming to me, even though arguably she's probably the most obnoxious character in the film. Sure. Um, but it's just such a caricature of a person. Like she's so insanely fake. And I think that the film does a great job, like you said, about showing sensitivity, like oversensitivity, as well as self-absorption, because all of the kids in the film have like a very myopic view of the world and they're all we find out wealthy um which impacts like where the story goes one's only upper react. middle class though it's it's <laughs> wild the, it's so there's so many moments where people are just insanely petty oh my god and in the situation like in the context of like what is happening like you know, somebody is found dead and then they sort of just start like fighting about podcasts and whether or not they actually like each other and just like the most insanely petty things. Spoilers, and, they don't. They don't like they each don't other like each because other. they're not real fucking friends. Um, so it it's like, it's weird because we were sort of talking about like the comedy aspect and it's definitely, it's kind of like All My Friends Hate Me. Where there's not really moments where I think you're laughing out loud, like it's not that type of comedy, but the like absurdity of how the characters are responding to the situation and just who they are is definitely really comedic and hilarious, but in like a really sad and tragic way. Because it feels like they're just not like, they just don't have depth. They don't have depth and it's like sad to see humans that don't have like multiple layers to who they are. <laughs> sure, but that's that's but, a being in your twenties and b being of this generation that, as I talked about before, uh, lives in a bubble that is not reality, and it does make you a very, you know, shallow, shallow person super because shallow. you don't have experience. Yeah, you don't you don't allow yourself. To go out and experience differences of opinions yeah. and, and different people because that offends you to your core, right? And like, it, come on. So, yeah, that stuff <laughs> irritates me. I guess I'm being the sensitive person here. <laughs> and I mean this on both sides. I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, the sensitive ones are the, the left wing or the whatever. No, it's both y'all. Every, everybody all. is sensitive and has biases to certain sure. things but i think we talk about it a good amount when we talk about film it's self-awareness like you can't escape that you have a bias or that you're you know you have these things that you're just based on your life experiences like you're going to react certain ways in certain situations but you have to be self-aware of sure. like what is making you act that way like is it really the situation does it warrant that type of like reaction or is it something from your past that's maybe influencing how you're feeling? And a lot of people have a hard time, like, looking at themselves that way because, you know, there's just a ton of reasons, right? It's difficult. And nobody in this film can do that. Nobody in the movie has, like, really any level of empathy. There's maybe one character that, you know, she's the outsider that kind of comes to the party that I think is the one that really I like most people are going to connect with the most because she's the most relatable, the most relatable. Um, and she's, I think maybe more empathetic, but even, you know, without obviously any spoilers, she does kind of start to devolve into a similar petty type of, you know, behavior sure, you in mock the your end. company. So yeah, it's a sad film. Like it's sad in like a weird existential way. And it's, it's, you know, not every young person of this generation acts like that and not to that extreme. Like, it might just be these little mild, tiny elements that influence their personalities. But to see it, like, so brazen is just, it's sad. It's really sad. Yeah. I mean, I might not be a perfect person, but, like, I look like I fuck. 
Oh my god. Like, <laughs> that was one of like the I lines. Like, I look like I fuck. That line is in the trailer, and it does, it did make me laugh, <laughs> because it was just like, what does that mean? And he says That's it, the look I'm going for. He says it so... Like, the other thing, too, I love sarcasm. I've always <laughs> loved sarcasm. But I think that with the movie, too, like, you see, like, how these kids... They talk to everybody kind of sarcastically. Like, nothing is genuine. No. So it's really hard to tell, like, when they're making fun of you or, like, whatever. There's a, a character that's actually older than uh, the others that are there. He's, like, in his 50s or late 40s or something. Yeah. And he addresses this where, like, there he's talking. He's like, oh, you guys are, like, you're joking. Like, you're, you're, fucking, with you're fucking with me. And it's, like, that is a huge problem because I think it's so demeaning to talk to somebody like they're stupid and like they're not in on your joke at all times all the time yeah like not just in a yeah all the time yeah. so <laughs> but i mean okay so we're we're not we're doing a really good review here we we're talking about like how it made us feel and think about things sure but like you said, it's not a slasher film. No. It's, it's a murder mystery. It's a murder mystery. These kids get together for a hurricane party because they're fucking, like, totally <sighs> <laughs> devoid of any kind of, like, ability to see how arrogant they are. Like, oh, I'm just going to throw a party during a natural disaster. And of course, nothing will happen to me because I'm a rich kid and all my problems will be fixed for me. Yeah. Um, so they throw this this party and then while they're there, the power goes out and they decide we're going to play a game. Bodies, bodies, bodies. I don't think the power goes out. They turn the power off. But then the power does go off at some point. It doesn't matter. Out. They shut all yeah. the lights off. Let's play bodies, bodies, bodies. Someone hides. Uh, one person's a killer. They go out. You find the body. And then you just yell bodies, bodies, bodies. And then you try to figure out the hell, who the killer is. This movie's, because of that trailer, this movie's not going to play out who, how you think it is. No. You're going to think, I'm not going to say what you're going to think, because then you're going to know that that's not what it is. But I'm going to guess <laughs> that if you saw the trailer, you're going to think it's one thing. It isn't. No. Right? It, it's, the trailer's misleading in the way it does what it does, because it's trying to show you that this game is being played like this. And this is part of this and that. And it's just not the case with the film. And that is, to me, I mean, A24 having uh, misleading marketing? No way. That would <laughs> never happen. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, whoever's in charge over at A24. Now, in one way, I really like it because, like, I don't want to know everything about the film. Sure. But misleading is another it thing, is. right? Like, it hurt the Babadook terribly. Because it, it sold it as a monster movie. And people went into it expecting a monster movie. And even though I think the movie is a fucking masterpiece. Personally. I I get why people are upset. It's just you go in th expecting one thing. And you get another thing. It, it is a tough sell. Um, but as far as the reveal goes. I figured it out. Um, maybe 20 minutes before it ended, yeah. I leaned over to Kayla and was like, oh, I fucking know what's happening here. And I said it, and I was actually kind of upset with myself that I did not figure it out earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will say that it's bold and I have seen it before, but it's perfect for the story they're telling. Yes. So what they're trying to say, this ending makes the most sense by far and away. So I'm all about the reveal. I am on the complete opposite spectrum of, of that. I think the reveal is the only thing that makes any sense. Um, and, it, and it has a message behind it, mm -hmm. right? I can't say what that is here, but it's a good message. And I did like the film overall. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't crazy in love with it, but I do love what it's saying. And I think that it's very smart yes. in what in in the way that it approaches a sensitive topic. And because this film up, you know, really is mostly only appealing to the generation in which it's making fun of, and the generation in which they're making fun of is very sensitive about being made <laughs> fun of. It's a fucking bold movie it's that's super. gonna have a lot of people hate it. Yeah. Because the majority of people who are gonna go see it are the ones who are gonna be offended by it. Yeah, but and it's, so that's a, it's that's like, a tricky one. They're the ones that should be seeing it because, like we said at the beginning, every generation's young people need to be made fun of 
in a like healthy way not in like a bullying way but in a just like hey you're young and think you're invincible but sure. everybody has been young gives you a sense of humility invincible. yes and everyone is stupid when they're younger 100%. because of hormones. It's not our fault. It's and a lack bit of our experience. <laughs> lack but of yes. experience and just you don't fucking know anything. You yet. don't, but you think but you, you do. But you think you know everything. Like, I know absolutely everything. So I watched a couple YouTube videos and now I understand the fucking everything. <laughs> the, the mysteries of the universe are all now revealed to me and only me. At fucking fifteen, <laughs> um, but I get it. People want to people want to be overly empathetic to try to overcompensate for the um, tragedies and uh, whatnot of the past. Like I, I understand the desire, but I think people are going about it the wrong way. But I think every older generation thinks the younger generation. Be, you know after them is stupid sure. and then the next generation after that just gets dumber and dumber and then the and then the people who are younger think the generations that are further away from yeah, them are see, dumber and dumber up the line right we think this way they think this way mm -hmm. that is always how it's been and it's how it's always gonna be it's what i thought when i was fucking in high school i was like oh my god this these people are such morons. As they got older, I was always like, they're the biggest fucking morons. The thing that's interesting is that, so, like, the experience of being young and having those, like, endorphins, like, everybody has that. It's a relatable experience. But the world that everybody lives in is different. Like, the world that young people are in now is different than when I was, like, 15 versus when you were 15 and so on and so forth. So, it is kind of, it's hard because there's so many like baseline experiences that it's like yes this is a human thing that you'll everybody goes through but the environment like social and natural environment that people live in changes and sure. obviously social media has drastically changed what people experience now and this review has been super yeah. philosophical yeah. thank you for so, joining our TED talks this uh, movie obviously made us think a lot sure this yeah, this was this was definitely like a review review where review we're really just kind just of throwing about. our fucking opinions at your head <laughs> and telling you how stupid you are. So no. this is a pretty <laughs> shitty review. I apologize, <laughs> but don't be a sensitive cunt. We've already talked about this. You know what the world needs more of? What? Butcher. Oh. Butcher from the boys. <laughs> That butcher. guy embodies everything about me. <laughs> we need more butchers in the world because that's like that guy's a product of the nineties. He is. That guy he is, is from my generation a million percent. He's super hardcore, you are a butcher. <laughs> <laughs> I am butcher. I just think everyone is way, way too sensitive. And it drives me fucking batty. It's funny though, but, because like his character thinks that because he's got anger issues and problems accessing his emotions. What the fuck are you saying? <gasps> All right, guys. So I don't know how much of that review was helpful. Uh, it's an it's it's a different film. Um, it's not what you're gonna think it is exactly, but from the trailer, I think you get a pretty good sense of the of the humor. Yeah. And the, the, like, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Tone? No, not parody. Uh. Satirical, satirizing. Yes. Sat satire. Yeah. Satire. Satire. I was just going to let you keep saying different words. I, well, I was, was like, I already word. had satire. It was the as soon same as you word, said, I was just like. versions of it. Okay, she's going to go with every satirical, version of it. Satirical, satirizing, satire. Yes. It is a satire on modern youth. And I think it's a, I think it's a good one. And um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I don't know how else to fucking tell people how awful they are. No, you're not too awful. You are. You are. <laughs> you are? Yeah, we're done. Right, bye. bye.